Well, you guys, you're not going to believe this. My cone nuts to the rescue again. Um, I basically got it centered in here, trapped between the two nuts, and the nut, the inside nut is, is hard up against the jaws, and uh, I just finished zeroing, zeroing it in with my uh, dial indicator here, and uh, it's Nat's ass. And uh, there's a slight little uh, movement this way, but spinning this way, it's true. So uh, given the circumstances and my, uh, you know, lack of tooling, if you will, um, if I had an expanding arbor, an in, or, or, yeah, um, what do you call them? The, uh, yeah, expanding mandrels, I think is what Adam refers to them. Um, if I had a set of those, I could use those. But you know what? I don't have it, and uh, I want to try to get this done. So the old trusty vice grips, uh, <laughs> the nuts are screwed up anyway, so maybe I can make another pair and put some flats on it so I can use some wrenches. Um, but um, for right now, you know what? I think this is going to work. So um, we're just going to give it the old college try here, and uh, we're going to just see what happens so if it spins on here when I start carving it then I'll have to come up with plan B but uh, it's pretty tight it seems pretty tight this being a soft material shouldn't take that much to hold it in the first place so um, I just basically have to trim this down to my bore size on this and uh, my snap gauges will fit in here so I'll be able to uh, measure this and uh, I might even have some pins that, uh, that I can use some uh, gauge pins that I do have that might fit in there that I can measure off of that. So anyway, uh, let's give this a shot and see what happens. It's pretty exciting that I'm uh, able to do this in the, at all. Again, have to feed it by hand. And I don't know if you guys can see that finish on there, but uh, that is friggin' beautiful. Yeah, that is friggin' beautiful. Pretending like I'm the lead screw, turning this thing to be consistent. cool stuff you guys I think this is gonna work so uh, I obviously have a ways to go so I'm turning the dial in about ten thousandths just because I don't want that thing to slip Hopefully you guys can see that finish on there. It's absolutely beautiful. So, all right, well, again, without uh, boring you guys to death with what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna trim it down to size, so I'll be back. Okay, Razor saying so long.